What's up YouTube, the Pokey Gamer here, and we're now on part 10, so yay, we're finally in the double digits, I guess. Um, before we kind of start doing anything, um, if you hear something in the background, it's probably my mom's television. The walls here where I live aren't very thick, so, I mean, it's kind of a pain in the ass, so if you hear something random, um, I do apologize. Um, so last time we finished off, I think this is Route 25, um, we helped Bill, and the only people we haven't talked to on this route yet so far are these two. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Misty is in here. That's in a later game. Okay. Um, for those of you who have, or are the French games, I'm, I'm guessing, um, there's a apparently a new Wi Fi event that's going live. Um, it's for, for uh, Caldeo. Um, let's see here. It says on Serebii that, um, for those of you with the French Black 2 and White 2 games, a new Wi Fi event has gone uh, live. The event gives you a level 50 Caldeo that has the moves Sacred Sword, Aqua Jet, Hydro Pump, and Sword Stance, and it will end on February 12th. So, um, let's see what we got in here. We weren't allowed to come in here last time, so. And I think we get the Dig Team here. this rocket gun. Whatever. Team Rocket's Team Rocket will never be able to, you know. And his Pokemon are already just shit. I could really care less about your chances of getting a crit. <clears throat> One kick to the face says you're done. And these other Pokemon are drowsy. It might have confusion, so I don't know. Ivysaur's still weak to it, but I don't care. Ivysaur needs experience here. This probably won't kill it. Wow, it's actually bulkier than I thought it would be. And boy, am I glad that disabled is missed. Almost levels up. Almost. It's not annoying or anything. And that's dig. So we'll talk to this guy. And he doesn't really say anything special. I don't think she says anything new either. That was such a bad line. Might be trying to dig their way to no good, really. At least today we finally get to work on uh, beating this gym. Uh, let's see here, we're going to change our lead because Nidorino is completely OP at the moment. Um, let me check my items here, see if we have enough uh, potions or whatever. Because just in case we have. Okay, we have 9 super potions, we should be good for this. Yes, just like last time, I will be battling all the trainers, which I think is only a total of two trainers and then the gym leader. <clears throat> Yay, one shot. And a free level up. Shelter, oh boy. We that wasn't hard or anything. At least 
level 19, close to the generator's levels. Actually, I think 19 is Misty's lowest Pokemon, and then her other Pokemon's level 21. Depending on how well the battle with Misty goes, I should be almost caught up with Ivysaur. Okay, finally facing Misty. Oh, I guess her last level was 18. Oh boy, he's a hard Oh well, that was for nothing. Really? Like, two experience left to go? Are, are you serious? Stormy's fast, so that was, that was to be expected. I also expected it to survive. I knew she was going to do that. I wasn't entirely sure, but I just knew she was going to, even though it wasn't in the red. So at least now it's asleep. In this early in the game, there's no items that she can use to uh, wake it up. Of course, it wakes up anyways, and it keeps spamming the fuck out of Swift. Oh well. I could've used that critical last time to one-shot this thing, but okay. And we're almost caught up to Nidoran. Wow, that almost leveled me up twice. We we can use cut now. That's gonna be very useful for later down the line. NTM 3 is actually really good. Water Pulse is actually a very decent water move, considering we don't have Scald in this game. Uh, and if you don't know what Scald is, then I guess you don't play Black and White or Black and White 2, so... Yeah. I believe we're actually close to being able to get my next team member, too. I am not 100% sure. But, I do know that we are 100% done with Cerulean City for now. So, we're gonna head off to the other side of the area here, since the only, this is the only other way you can get over there, unless you're going, you know. So, let's see here. You can go down or to the east. Down takes you, I think, closer to Saladon. But I don't think you can use the, this way, and I don't think you can use... Yeah, he'll say that you, yeah, you need to get him a drink in Saladon. I don't know if you can use this or not. Oh, I guess you can. No. There's no way in hell. I don't remember this color issue. So I'm assuming that's kind of, not, you know, not on purpose. Six now, which should give us access to Vermilion City. <clears throat> He's most likely a bug trainer, so we're gonna switch. I think I'm gonna wait until maybe level 30 to evolve the Need Arena. I don't know exactly. It probably won't be this episode, it'll probably be the next episode, so. Easy kill. Caterpie. We almost level 27. We all the one hit kills. Because apparently after the second gym, people are still using fucking. Caterpie and Weedle whenever they can just be using fucking Butterfree and Beedrill at this point. Um... 
private conversation. Why the hell are you in the middle of, you know... It's a private conversation, go somewhere private. It's dumbass. And then click attack spam, okay. That's what, that's what my need arena thinks of your private conversation. Bitch. Oh boy, a Pikachu. Watch out guys, we got static over here. And here I thought I was gonna get paralyzed. <laughs> Sorry about that. I still have somewhat of a cough, even though I'm actually not really sick. I don't really understand what that's all about. But, like, I don't have the sniffles, I don't sneeze, like, every five seconds or anything, so, I mean... Oh, yeah. I forgot there was other trainers like this in this game. Let's go with one or two. At least this thing's a lot decent level, too. you can't win. I'm almost fucking 10 levels higher than you. What do you expect? Oh boy, a Butterfree. About time someone has one. I mean, I made a pain in the ass though. Exactly my point. Oh boy, let's have some more fun. Okay, so you don't hit yourself, but you're fully paralyzed. Why the hell would you... Okay, you were doing so good up to the point where you used Supersonic again. And that's what you get for making that mistake. Well... <sighs> it's like playing on Dueling Network. I don't think I have a Paralyzed Hill, do I? Oh, cool, I do. Not like I really wanted to use it, but hey, why not? I'm going to fucking Paralyzed again anyways. I don't know if I'll be able to beat both of these trainers today. We'll see. Depends on... Okay, three Pokemon. Depends on if I can one-shot all these Pokemon or not. I have literally like two minutes left. I don't think I have enough time. Yay, quick attack. Okay. Why have I gotten so many criticals in this fucking let's play? Like I feel like I've gotten so many criticals, it's not even funny. Let me get quick attack again. I'm gonna go for sand attack as soon as we survive. Nope. This need arena is so fucking OP. I don't even remember which in Surge's levels at this point either. But involving my Nidorino into a Nido King and making it part ground type is going to be very, very beneficial. Very beneficial. I don't think I have the time for it, but we'll try. I mean, at worst, we'll have to start this at the, you know, next, at the beginning of the next episode in the middle of the battle, so I mean. I might have it, depending on his next Pokemon, I might have it. Will I be able to make it before the 15 minute mark? Yes, I will, because he's going to send out a normal type. Whee! <sighs> that was a close one, but not really. We still have like 30 fucking seconds left. Whee! More talking. But at least this time, at least we made it into Vermilion City. So next time we're going to start exploring Vermilion City, and maybe even depending on you know how quickly we get through the city, we'll uh, do our shit in gym as well. So next time we'll be doing all that other happy shit. Until next time, this is the Poke Gamer signing off.